What is up, Republic of Gamers, and welcome to ROG Pulse. My name is Solid Jake, and this week we are talking about the ROG Falchion. And joining me here on the show, we've got Jeff Campman. Jeff, what's new? What's good? Oh man, it's been it's been a week. A week? Uh, yeah, it's it's been in in non um, personal computing tech news. Um, I got my first vaccine shot this week. If I had a soundboard, so, I'd yeah. be like hitting like the the, the, rah, 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 the horn, yeah. like just completely horn, annoying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, sh I should have came prepared. Yeah, uh, it's it's definitely worthy of celebration. It feels so great. That's awesome. Um, man. Yeah, um, and yeah, and like literally, I'm feeling. I, I I got it yesterday. I'm feeling a little under the weather yesterday, but like it's I'm basically back to normal today. So, That's awesome. That's great to hear because I, yeah. I got my appointment for next week. Yes. Woo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so that's good to hear that it's not too bad. Yeah. Yeah. Um I I yeah, I, I get the second shot in three weeks and uh, is that what, is it three weeks it. or two weeks apart? Like uh three three weeks for Pfizer, like four weeks twenty eight days for Moderna, I think. Okay. Okay. Johnson and Johnson just one shot. Yeah. That's your thing. Um, but yeah. I've I've heard some people have had some tough reactions to the second shot, so I'm not looking forward to that. But we'll see. I'm a little older. Uh, younger people have like more active immune systems, mm. so uh, yeah, it might it might it might hit different, as they say. <laughs> for, for my parents, yeah. I know it was fine, but with some friends that I know, they their their significant others or whatnot had like 48 hour periods of pretty yeah. pretty sick i guess but yeah all worth it hey it's worth it yeah it, it definitely is and it's it's so cool like this is technology that's never been deployed before it's a lot of fun so you're, of... you're at leading edge yeah it's weird to say that it's fun because we're now getting to experience the end of this you know hopefully yeah. once in a lifetime event that we've gone through yeah. but um... the beginning of the end yeah but yeah so in personal tech news <laughs> i also for the, the past couple weeks I've had this uh, keyboard, this the ROG Falchion. Uh, I've been, <laughs> as you as you know, I've been over the moon with this thing. Um, so yeah, so this is kind of where we 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 differentiate and comes in terms of preference. We talk a lot about technology mm -hmm. just in our day to day, and we've argued a bit in the past about Ethernet versus Wi-Fi. <laughs> and this yeah. is another topic where we we argue when it comes to preference in keyboards because um, I I've been streaming, you know making all kinds of content for like 10 years. And for me, the numpad is is just part of my life. It's part of my day. Yeah. Even going back to World of Warcraft, numlock was the default auto run key. So even back then, you know, when a, a young PC gamer, whenever WoW came out 16 years ago, um, the, the, the numpad was just part of my, my gaming experience. And that's not true for all gamers, for sure. For plenty of people, they say, this is wasted space on my desk. And that seems to yeah. be the boat that you're in. Yeah, unfortunately, my shoulders and wrists um, are, they, they're they not the most durable. I'm prone to RSI, so like weird angles, like a lot of people can tolerate like weird angles with their arms and their shoulders and their wrists, and I just can't do that. And so I've always, you know, for the longest time, um, when I first used a 10 keyless board, uh, it was it was a game changer. Because it made me, it meant I could reach the mouse without reaching as far, without like in, causing such weird angles. Mm. Um, angles that right feel arm. natural after using it for so much, but when you look at it and it's like, is that natural? Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah, and, and some people can tolerate that. Like, it, you know, it, that's just the case. But uh, I definitely cannot. Um, but you know, the the trend of the moment is these uh, sixty percent keyboards that get rid of even like the um the insert home page up page down keys that whole block uh but they also lose the arrow keys right so the 60, I've, I've been 60 percent compact yeah. means literally 100 percent would be a normal keyboard 60 percent is you're, you're cutting off 40 yeah, percent of the width really yeah it's a really compact design 10 keyless uh, gets rid of the number pad right um so but yeah, sixty percent. You know, usually the arrow keys have to move into a function layer, um, along with a lot of other stuff. Um, and as a writer and a gamer, um, I use the arrow keys all the time to navigate text and select text 
And so I can't live without them. So I was like, I was looking on with envy uh, at all these tiny keyboards. And uh, then we released the uh, Falchion. Uh, and I was like, oh, so this is a 65% keyboard. And it, it keeps the dedicated arrow keys. Uh, and it keeps the dedicated page up, page down. Um, but it's still really, really tiny. So yeah, oh yeah, you can see it now too. Uh, I saw so you referencing the, it, so I was like, all right, yeah, well, let's take a look. Yeah, it's time. <laughs> we, we are live with it right here. Um, so yeah, you can see uh, we have the ROG Strix Scope RX. Which is what uh, which I is use, full... which is what's in front yeah. of me as well. And I love that keyboard, mm -hmm. but... Yeah, it's great. Um, but it's a full 104 keys. Yep. Um, so you can see how much wider it is compared to the Falchion. Um, so... Now, is it just me or are the keys smaller on the Falchion as well? No. Well, some of them are. Uh, but the main like block here is not. The uh, backspace inner uh, inner might be slightly smaller. Uh, definitely the right shift because mm -hmm. you have to you know the arrow. Yeah, but who cares? Who cares about that? That's... Right. I don't use I don't use the right modifiers. So I don't either. Um, but yeah, so you can see if we center the uh, like main uh, text or entry block, you can see like just all this space just opens up yeah it's a lot of and space so um if i um center it this way actually yeah here we'll switch to the wide view yeah okay so if we center um both keyboards their text entry blocks on the monitor like this you can see like how much more space i have to move the mouse here um, yeah, you're like, gaining a lot of real estate for sure. Yeah, in, but it's not just that. Like if I if I'm typing and I reach over, like my elbows, it doesn't move any further in this arc of motion than like 90 degrees. You know, it's straight out from the arm of the chair, which is uh, it's really really nice. And then I can just reach right back over. And I actually, when I got, first got the keyboard, I actually went ahead and measured this. So <laughs> when you when you're reaching over. Um, Life of a benchmarker. If, if it can be measured, it must be measured. <laughs> um, but, you know, if you're reaching over from, like, your J key here to this mouse, you know, that's only, like, six inches of movement. You know, so you can grab it faster, and then you can be back faster, and you're not, like, wasting all this motion. Um, but, you know, even, so, again, you know, I, I know, like, J key preferred the numpad and all that. But if we, we set this aside for just a second, um, you know, again, we center the text block on the um, the monitor here. Suddenly, I'm reaching a foot, like a full foot over mm. to grab this mouse. And you can see, like, how much further out my arm has to go when you're mousing. Like, it, it, yeah, it's a stretch. So, like, you know, I know people can compensate for that. You know, obviously, you can center the keyboard differently, but then you're <laughs> sort of trading one ergonomic sin for another. Um, and you still have this huge like reach if you're like if if you've mapped some of these keys maybe in a game for example you still have this huge reach um, to get over there. So um, yeah, I mean, the, don't get me wrong. If you love the Scope RX, you love 104 key keyboards. Like this is a superb board. Um, but like I, the... I just hate how good you are at selling this because now I'm like, all right, well, <laughs> I'm intrigued. I haven't tried yeah. it. Um, the ergonomic but... value is appealing. Yeah. And like I've I've tried numerous ergonomic keyboards, like the fancy like layouts, split layouts, all that fun stuff. Put this up aside for a minute. And um, you know, I, those have helped a little bit, but I've found it's again, it's really not the layout that kills. It's the it's the range of motion for me. So like again, having this tiny board in a within a good range of motion, you know, full set of arrow keys. Um, it's just it's great. Yeah, the fact that you don't lose the arrow keys is really appealing to me because I feel like I couldn't exist without them. And again, what are the the four keys on the... There we go. So you got insert, delete, page up, and page down. And you could yeah, and probably rebind those if you wanted to. Yeah, I'm going to eventually remap um, the insert and delete to like home and end, mm. and switch those out because um, I use those a lot, way more than I use insert and delete. So, um, But yeah, you can remap all of that stuff in Armory Crate. So, again, that's cool. Uh, if you, but yeah, and you can see that it's wireless. We haven't even mentioned that it's wireless. So, like, you don't, you aren't restricted by the cable. 
you know, when you're typing, it can be in the center of your desk like this. But if you're, you know, if you're ready to game, you can just easily bring it over. Sit it right here, put your left hand on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then like if you're, you know, if you're a, a big shooter player, like if you have a low DPI on your mouse, suddenly you have all this space to like do your movements and you're not um, interfering. Yeah, there's, or, you know, your keyboards just, there's not any extra keyboard just out here. Um, that's where I see this keyboard being extremely appealing is for the FPS gamer. I just see a, a ton of merit to this, the flexibility. Mm -hmm. You have a wireless mouse, say, and a wireless keyboard like that. And you've just got so much room to work with. You've got no drag on either device. You can position them however you want. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's gorgeous. Yeah, it's really nice. For the for the so, MMO gamer, I'm gonna hold on <laughs> to my F keys, please, because I need those. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. that's just it me. does not have right. a function row. Um, yeah, it doesn't have a function row. Those are all on the number keys. Um, yeah. But that's easy enough to deal with. Like in the in the of keys course. that we've remapped, that you know the other ones that we've remapped that you might use, like print screen, is in a logical place. It's function P, so that's easy muscle memory. Oh, ah, nice. Yeah. So um, yeah. We'll pull the scope our X nope. back out. Here. There's there's some other cool Looking stuff cool. with this keyboard as well, right? What do we got going yeah. on on the sides? So um, when again, like like we just talked about with sixty percent boards, uh, when you're um cutting down a keyboard like this, uh, it's I think it's easy to cut too far to the bone, uh, and lose things that are useful. Um, like our bigger keyboards, some of them have volume rollers. Um. That's my number one yeah. hate about and, any and, keyboard. Yeah. So people love them. I can't say that. <laughs> I just. So, and, uh, you know, you also have, uh, like we were just discussing, you have some function blocks. So, you know, again, we, I think we made a smart decision, you know, go with a 65% layout, keep the arrow keys, keep these page navigation keys. Yep. But we're also, you know, I love the fact that our designers were also like, hey, you know, how can we use the space on the sides of the board? And so, which is something I've never uh, seen little before. Touch strip. Yeah, this is really cool. Right. There's this little touch strip on the. <laughs> Make sure I can get a good angle for you there. But yeah, there's the the touch strip here. Um, it's a touch sensitive slider. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, spatial relationships. Uh, you know, it it um controls. Oh yeah, you can see how the little. Yep. The LEDs follow your finger. So you're going down to the like, negative. You're, so right now you're swiping yeah. down. Right, so this by default it lowers the volume and raises the volume, um, but I can actually, and I, I use that a lot, so I'm, I'm not going to change that. Um, but there's more you can do with it. I'm actually going to switch over to Armory Crate here, um, and you can see uh, there's five gestures that you can assign. Uh, you know, swipe up can uh, do any number of things. We have. You can input like predefined text. You can do a keyboard function, like a mouse click, um, multimedia stuff. So, like if we if we open up, oh yeah. So you can select a single key for the keyboard function. Uh, select left or right click. Pretty cool. Um, you know, can assign like show desktop, cut, copy, paste if you want to. And yeah, you can do that for all five of these. Like there's a. You can top the or tap the topmost, um, like the plus. You know, you tap the plus, tap the minus here. Uh, bring this back. Um, you know, you tap the plus here, you tap the minus here. It uh, and you can actually tap the center as well for different functions or and the, this little yeah. So in addition to the swipes, you get all that. Oop, sorry, um, but yeah, you can also see on the side here how there's this little um, LED strip. Above it all, yep. Uh, that can be set to show your battery life. Oh, um, that's cool. In fact, that yeah, that's what it's showing right now. So it's is the you're pretty life. full. Yeah, and it's fully charged. Um, but it, you know, I don't, I don't know how well this comes across in camera. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, you can see um, the it's it's nearly full, right? Yeah, it's like green. But I assume it changes see, color like, as oh, it goes down. Yeah. Or? When you touch it, like there's a little white LED that follows your mm, hand as well. Yeah. And this, um, this battery is up to 450 hours of battery life. Yeah, with the, R, with the RGBs off. Yeah, it's a, it's a little shorter with them on. Of course. Uh, but that's, you know, that's normal. Um, but yeah, that can be reassigned to multiple things. Um, 
yeah. bring back Armory Crate. Um, so, yeah, you're going to show off the different things we can assign? Or is there, like, we looked at all um, those things I, with... I, yeah, I was just going to, I was just going to look and see. Um, yeah, you can sync this, that RGB strip, it's fully RGB, you can sync it up with your keyboard lighting. Oh, nice. Uh, if you want, like, you can see, you know, it has the full range of Aura effects. I think, in fact, this is our first wireless Aura sync keyboard. Possibly. Yeah. It looks like we have per-key so, um, lighting as well, so that it just yeah, looks really yeah, nice. You can, um, you can set per-key lighting. Um, sorry, I'll bring this up again. Um, yeah, whatever the window size change. Anyway, um, yeah, you have perky, you have perky lighting. Um, you can set any of these to be whatever you want. Um, now we have set, we have plenty of power details. Like you can see, this is an eighty percent battery. Nice. Um, and yeah, like the lights will shut off uh, right now because I've got it like at twenty percent. They'll shut off when the battery gets low to save um, resources. You know, yeah, just. Yeah, right. And you can also tell it to sleep after a certain period of time, like two minutes. Um, yeah, that's which like I, which is really great. a must-have feature. Like I use the Keras wireless right now, and if that didn't go to sleep, it would it would suck. It would burn uh -huh. that battery yeah. pretty fast. Well, a lot faster than it does. Yeah. Um. So yeah. Very cool. And um. Okay, so one thing we haven't talked about is what kind of switches are available on this keyboard. <laughs> So right now, um, the, the Faucheon is only available in with Cherry MX switches. I think, well, I just lost the key. Sorry. You don't need that. <laughs> nah, I'll remember what it is. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's Cherry MX reds, okay. uh, Cherry MX RGB reds. Uh, so it's a linear switch. Uh, there's no tactility to it, and there's no uh, audible click. Um, do you tend to lean towards reds? Um, I do, because they work the light actuation force works well with my hands and wrists it's also um, very fluid for typing i think a lot of people yeah. that, that do a ton of typing um, tend to lean towards reds red or brown mm -hmm. especially gamers like if you're rep repeatedly clicking or tapping a key um it, it's less fatiguing yeah so but yeah the uh the other nice thing is though um <laughs> it's what's on top of the switches so you can see um sorry getting the full Oh yeah, we can with it. You can see every speck of dust. But yeah, I mean these are PBT keycaps, uh, which are excuse me. So PBT is a different kind of plastic. Yeah, a different type of plastic uh, than what's on it. Um, the Scope RX. Um, you can see the texture is kind of grainy. There's there's this um, it looks grippy. Sort of yeah, this matte texture to it, and. Um, as opposed it, to like it's hard to describe key. i mean you can't i can't sorry go ahead as opposed to like a smoother keycap which you can you can yeah. see on the, the scope RX. yeah you can sort of see the the difference in the way these are reflecting light um but yeah it it's hard to convey this over camera but like pbt feels dry under the fingers like and very grippy so like it, even if you get sweaty it's not a porous plastic it doesn't absorb oils and it doesn't absorb like your finger gunk oh that's very cool so and it also uh, is more resistant to like that shininess that some keys get over time. So yeah, it's it's a wonderful material for typing on. I won't type on a keyboard without it, frankly. Oh, because <laughs> I'm a stop. <laughs> well, hey, I mean, if you but, know what you like, yeah. then yeah, we that's the great thing about our keyboard lineup nowadays yeah. is we've got so much variety. Like personally, I've been using the Strix Scope RX with right switches. Can't wait to get one with blue uh -huh. switches because that's, or, you know, I prefer blue and brown personally. Mm -hmm. But yeah, and um, there's a little, so this is so small and so light that you could conceivably take it with you if you wanted. Um, we include a travel cover for it. Oh, uh, nice. It's a very nice piece. Um, <laughs> it's over on the other side of the room, so I can't actually <laughs> show you, but uh, it, it slips over the keys, uh, so like if you put it in your bag, it, they're all protected. Uh, it's a it's a very um, beefy uh, piece of uh, plastic, but you can also flip. It's translucent, so you can flip it over and set the keyboard in it. Um, nice, and you know it diffuses the light around the edges if that's your thing. And there's a nice uh, cutout in the side, so you can still reach the touch strip through it. Um, the one thing we haven't shown. Um, is the actual wireless adapter. Uh, this is 2.4 gigahertz, uh, one millisecond only. Um, so 
no Bluetooth on this if that's your thing. But again, for gaming connectivity, that's what you want. Is yeah, that more Bluetooth is never going to have the latency is, you want. Yeah. This is all the adapter is, is this little thing. Whoop, come here. Yep. Yeah, that's just well, it's identical to what I have for yeah. my Keras wireless, which is, again, you plug it in the front of your machine, you never even notice it's there, or in the back, yeah. wherever you prefer. Um, and yeah, and if you've got a laptop, if you've got a laptop and you like taking your keyboard with you, um, this can just sit in one of your USB ports and it yeah. won't uh, barely stick out. Uh, can we actually Come see back. the the back of the keyboard? Uh, sure. Or the underside? Okay, so there's the back with a... Sorry. Uh, I assume this comes <laughs> with the same kind of... I have the touch strip set to do something. It's trying to exit all my apps. That's actually not great. Uh, okay. So yeah, you got this uh, nice, uh, you've got the four rubber grip pads. It does have a uh, little riser feet. Yep. Um, if you like those. Let's give you a different angle, yeah. Yeah. But you know, you got that. If <laughs> you're the type of person who looks at the bottoms of keyboards, you have this glossy, you can see this glossy reflective element of it here. And I think it looks the cool. matte element. Yeah. And there's then, nice little details throughout. Yeah, the little recessed charge port. So if your battery's dead, yeah, you just plug it in. Or if your battery's getting low, I think the keyboard actually kind of starts flashing red when it gets down to like 10%. Yeah, something like that. Um, and the yeah, you can see the charge port is USB type C. So like if you have type C cables, you don't have to carry like a micro USB. Like that's <laughs> the bane of my existence is micro yeah. USB and lightning cables. <laughs> They're awful. Type C is... So much type C better. is the future. It Everything is. should have Type C, and so the Fauci. I feel like just about every peripheral we make nowadays is just Type C by default because it's the future, like mm -hmm. you said. Right, right. And even the RG phones. So yeah, RG phones. Yeah, headsets, mice. My Keras wireless is Type C. Love it, love it. Um. Yeah. So that that's that is in a nutshell the board. It's a beautiful keyboard. I know you're yeah. all about your compact and your ergonomics. Yeah, I love it. I wouldn't trade it for the world. Um, and yeah, it strikes the perfect balance. Like you're not, the, the thing I really like about this is I don't think, there's not a time during the day where I'm like, darn, it doesn't have this. Yeah, you know, it's like, darn, I'm missing out on my favorite, you know, auxiliary keys or whatever oh well, yeah yeah it's uh yeah. if you're not even actively though, using you know, like for, for me the one thing that stands out to me um as a user for my day-to-day -day, not for gaming related is f5 for refresh is there yeah is there any way that you could i guess you could macro that to uh, the you insert key or something f5. okay yeah i mean you could assign it to any key or you could do function f5 it also has a function lock feature that you know, if you're not typing on the number row a lot, like you can turn, I think you can lock the function keys on if that's your thing. Mm. Okay. Cool. But yeah. I'm, inter great. I'm interested in the different material. I think, I don't know if I've ever used a keyboard that had PVT. I've never really thought about the plastic on the, on the device, to be honest mm -hmm. with you. And that's a really, you know, it's, it's a big oversight in my part because I never really considered it. I never <laughs> even knew there was options there, but it makes perfect sense. Yeah. Oh yeah, Key keyboards are, a, you know, every, I, the one thing I love about the keyboard enthusiast community is that like if there's an element of a keyboard, um, it has been dissected. dissected. <laughs> yeah, it's been fully dissected. Uh, there are hundreds of different options, hundreds of different custom things. Um, yeah, you you can. If if it if it suits you, you can find keycaps, base plates, just entire chassis or whatever that are um, entirely tailored to your your needs. But like honestly, with this thing, I wouldn't change anything. It's right, yep. it's ready to go right out of the box. You know, in the near future, we're definitely going to have to get our hands on a Claymore too, and mm -hmm. and talk about that because that's a a different but similar concept where the keyboard right. can be detached and attached to the left or the right side. Because now I'm thinking about this, mm -hmm. it's like, okay, all right. I wanna, I wanna start tinkering with different keyboards more because to yeah. me, the Scope RX is perfection. To you, the Falchion mm -hmm. is, is perfection. Oh, your webcam, oh, there we go. We're, yeah. we're back. It was, it did not wanna focus on you. It was, oh. it banished you oh, to no. the shadow realm. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's having some trouble tonight. I don't yeah. know why that is. It's fine. Um, 
we, we got these yeah, beautiful the, the keyboards Claymore, to stare at. Yeah, I mean, the Claymore 2 is, uh, it's really interesting because, you know, one, one alternative is if you absolutely have to have a numpad, um, there aren't a lot of keyboards out there that do this, but some of them put the number pad on the left side. So you can like, yeah, you know, you, you, you get the benefits of the 10 keyless um, on the right, kind of. Um, I think I would like again, that a lot, personally. Yeah. Um, but it would take some adjusting to get used to, but mm -hmm. no, and also so you can remove it, the, like you said. Yeah, the Claymore lets you convert it into a 10 keyless board when you want to. So um, and yeah, I'm the, it, it's the best of all worlds if you're not like a compact keyboard freak. Yeah, I'm the unique case where I play flight sims where I've got dual joysticks on the desk and then when it's keyboard mouse and two flight sticks on the desk you you don't have any room for all that so by removing the numpad it would make a really mm -hmm. nice nice difference in that um we've actually got a request is it possible to go into armory crate and change some of the the or just at, maybe without armory crate show off some of the different lighting effects on the fashion oh, sure I'd be I'd be happy to um so yeah, let me pull. It. Oh no, because I think you can do um, it, some okay. of it with just function, right? <laughs> yeah, it's. Uh, yeah, it's. It wants it's, you to um, update. <laughs> it wants me to update, of course, at the, the worst possible time. But 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 uh, that all Classic. is not lost because because um, you have onboard profiles that you can switch through uh, with by just touching uh, function uh, one two three or function A S D F and G. There are five onboard profiles that store a bunch of things. You can see, like, we're in a different lighting mode now. Um, you know, I think this one is three active. No, this is um, a more subtle, sort of a snake-like effect. Yeah, just kind of dancing around the keyboard. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think this is, like, the rain. Green rain. Yeah. Is this the reactive? reactive one? Yeah, this, yeah, is reactive. The, this is the reactive one. This is the one that uh, responds to, yeah, it just leaves the key illuminated for a little moment. But yeah, you have those onboard profiles. Um, you can cool. save all your settings to the keyboard. You don't have to, you know, in the event that you don't have Armory Crate installed on, like, say, a, a school PC or something, or, you know, you don't, lose, you don't lose your macros. In fact, you can record macros on this thing without the software. So if you, like, want to throw one together real quick, you can just record it right on the keyboard. Um, it's got media controls, um, and if you do like in set up something you don't want, like you can reset it all to default with another single function. So there's a lot of control baked into the hardware. You all you can't see the function later. Uh, yeah, you can see sort of all the function keys, oh. uh, the, the function layer. Cool. Yeah, it's baked into this. So I did not know that. Yeah, there's a, there's a whole lot of functionality. Oops. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a little bit of a little, we're, little we're, bit of static there. Sorry. We're playing with some cool technology right now, so we've got some uh, yeah experimental things going on, but it's working. A little, a little unpredictable. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's fine. Function one, two, and three are those different commands for for key lighting. Chat request to try function one. Uh, the uh, the F. The F oh, key, the F number keys don't control anything. Oh, uh, I see. It's all on ASDF. Okay, okay. Yeah. So function one would be F1. It's literally. Yeah, okay. right. Exactly. Exactly. Got it. Got it. Makes sense. Um, cool. Well, I think that's that's probably that's probably it for the the Falchion. You're gonna be using yeah. this for for the end of time. Is this like your your end game in terms um, of what you like? Yeah, I think this is uh, this is it takes a lot to get me to change keyboards. Like the scope are I say this now. <laughs> you know, I, I think it's a testament to the quality of our keyboard lineup uh that like you can take a board like the Scope RX and just swap that in as my daily driver and say that that's a board that I could use all the time uh and then have another one come along basically right after and say um oh, well this is the one. Right. Um so yeah, I mean, I I've been uh, just 100% satisfied with this. Uh, the the ergonomics, the feel, uh, it's just it's all great. So it'll it'll be on my desk for a long time. So the Scope RX has our optical mechanical switches, the in-house ones, right. but the Falchion does not. And in the event, say in the future, we we decided to make a version with those switches, would that be like even better? 
Um, I, I, yeah, <laughs> I, I, I would really love that. Um, because I really love the um, RX optical switches too. All right, engineering, but, um, you heard yeah. them. Make it. It's, it's... Yeah. Um. Cool. Well. Yeah. Like, it's like choosing between. It's like choosing between two different flavors of ice cream. I'm not gonna say no to any other. They're of both it. delicious. Yeah. Well, you've you've officially sold me on wanting to at least try this style keyboard. So congratulations on that, because I'm very stubborn <laughs> and I do not change easily. I know what I like, just like you. Um, and to me, just just losing out on on the the standard flow that I'm used to, the muscle memory of being able to reach in a certain spot, having things change is always tough. Mm -hmm. You know, changing yeah. the size of the the control key on the left side of the keyboard that was hard for me. The extra wide. Um, mm -hmm. you know, some keep, that's something that we started doing with some of our new keyboards and I really like it, but it take, took time for me to adjust personally. Yeah. You can see that here. Like the Falchon has a standard with control. The scope RX mm -hmm. has the. Which is something that in gaming I've learned to absolutely yeah. love, but it still took me a minute to mm -hmm. adjust. Yeah. And, um, I, it definitely took a couple days to get used to this because I, I kept reaching for like the 10 keyless, uh, arrow position. And just grabbing air. <laughs> um, but yeah, I got used to it pretty quick. Cool, Jeff. So well, yeah, it, it's nowhere near it's nowhere near as bad as some of the ergonomic keyboards I've used, where it just completely you know you, you couldn't use them without touch typing. So <sighs> you had to unlearn all of your bad habits. This one's much more forgiving. Very cool. Any final thoughts you'd like to pass on to the world? that go get one of these if if, if you'll love it if, if you if you're intrigued by the idea at all you'll love it. it it doesn't make you compromise on any aspect of your daily typing experience we've had a little bit of rivalry a little bit of back and forth in chat I, i'm on the strict scope gang so don't don't worry don't worry they're both <laughs> great keyboards yeah and you know both what, great keyboards. whatever floats your boat right if whichever is mm -hmm. more appealing for you for your situation your use case because frankly Wireless keyboards give you, like some people are, are obsessed with the clean desk space, like the cable-free yeah. clean desk space. You can't achieve that without a wireless keyboard. And I will say that having like a Keras wireless and the Falchion sitting side by side with perfect cable management on a gorgeous desk would just be mwah, like gorgeous. Yeah. And you can't knock that. That's Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I have a Keras wireless on the way too. So. Oh. I love my um, mouse. I've been using it for like yeah. a month now. I'm getting I'm gonna get to experience that sooner rather than later. Um cool guys. Well, we'll have some more shows coming up in the near future. Diving into all kinds of fun things. Next week the current content plan is to um go deep and show off some of our laptops performance head to head. So we'll we'll share more info oh, very wow. soon. Yeah, it's a, it's a, we're, we're trying different things here with Fools. We're trying to mix it up and make some more fun content, but also incorporate gaming into this technology mm -hmm. even more because that's well, we want to play. We any excuse we can find to play video games, we're gonna take it. Yeah. But, yeah. Cool. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. Hit that follow button if you enjoyed the show. Follow here on Twitch or on YouTube. And until next time, we'll see you later. GGS. Take care.